All right, friends, we are about to do a really cool experiment here with my friend Susan. Susan, what is going on here? What we are going to be looking at is liquid nitrogen. Have you ever heard about liquid nitrogen? Well, What's in the air that you breathe? Uh, I breathe oxygen, that's for sure. You're absolutely correct. And you know what? Most people think oxygen pollution, that's it. But 78% of your air is indeed nitrogen in a gaseous form. We happen to have nitrogen in a liquid form right here. What's some observation that you can make? Well, it looks like it's boiling. Excellent word. I like the fact that you are saying that. In fact, it is boiling. And we, we normally think in terms of boiling, meaning a temperature hot. Well, watch this. You think it's boiling. Let's find out if it is. I'm going to add a little liquid nitrogen to this. If you normally apply some heat, what's the sound that's normally produced? Oh, it whistles. It whistles. Right. Let's find out if it's right. going to whistle. Hey. We definitely have a boiling liquid. All right, but is it hot or is it not? So why don't you take your finger and then very quickly, do not leave it there, that right. would not be correct. Very quickly, just swipe down the back. Ooh, it's ice cold. It's ice cold, you're absolutely right, because the boiling temperature of liquid nitrogen on a Fahrenheit scale is negative 320 degrees. Really cold. That is really cold. Boiling doesn't mean hot at all. It's not temperature related. Right. What it means is a change of state. So we added a lot of liquid nitrogen in here. Let's see how much comes out. Very, very little. It's almost all gone. Exactly. And if we kept that in this, uh, this container right here, this vessel, and allowed it to continue to boil off, nothing would come out. Wow. That's pretty cool, right? It would have all boiled away. It would have all boiled away. Evaporation, that's what it's all about. What would happen to this banana if we place this in liquid nitrogen? I imagine it'll freeze very quickly. Let's see what happens to those cells. So we're gonna place this one down here. How long has it been in there? Oh my goodness, it seemed like it was less than a minute. Yeah, I think so. Right? It's very, very quick. So what we can do is absolutely show our viewers that and let's take this piece of wood. All right. And I'm just gonna hold this nail here. I need you to take this banana and try to hammer right. that nail into that piece of wood. <laughs> let's try another area. Perfect. There we wow, go. Wow, there we go. It's going right in. I hammered the nail into this block of wood with a frozen banana, which has been sitting in liquid nitrogen for just 60 seconds. Well, what we're hoping to do is recreate a little bit of the water cycle. We have collection of water, the sun is shining, you have evaporation, right? Sure. All those molecules heading up into a much colder atmosphere, con condensing into clouds. At that point, what's gonna happen if they get too full? It's gonna come down. Hopefully, we can do just a little section of that. All so right. we have that word boiling again because we've added boiling hot water, 212 degrees right. on a Fahrenheit scale, all right? And we can see some steam rising up, or some water vapor, rather, rising up. But we're going to top it off with our very cold, boiling liquid nitrogen. I'm pretty excited. Excellent. I need you to stay right, right back there. I'm gonna step and back And would you like to do a countdown, sir? Let's do it. Three, two, one, go. Woo! Oh my goodness. And we have condensation. <laughs> it's amazing how the clouds we created in our science experiment look just like the clouds in our blue sky.